Good evening, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Ride Chair Revolutionaries. That's me, Gio, the leader of the Ride Chair Revolution, the Ride Chair Rockstar, and the captain of the 2K Club. And I forgot to turn off my group me up. All right. Um, we're going to talk about one little quick thing today. Uh, that's something I've been kind of noticing lately. I'm always, I'm always trying to like give helpful information to passengers too. And I think this one little tidbit of information I'm given has been leading tips because I noticed every single time I gave this information to a passenger, this bit of advice, I would get like a three or five dollar tip. Um, and I think I'll keep this video short as possible. I think um, this bit of information. If, if, if the drivers in my market circulate it, you guys will probably see an increase in tips and it would definitely positively impact the market the way it is now, right? And this has to do with getting, getting tips from airport rides, specifically from O'Hare. And some of you guys that drive in major markets, uh, you might be able to try this too. So, you know, I, I, like, to, I like to talk to pastors, I like to have a conversation. And um, every once in a while, a pastor will say, you know, I, oh, I, I do a lot of business traveling. I can't stand O'Hare. It takes me 30 minutes to get a ride. Like after I order a ride, it takes me like 30 minutes to get a driver. Um, and whenever I hear that, my ears just perk up and I'm like, oh, do you want to know a way to, do you want to know a way to get a, a ride faster from O'Hare? And they're like, yeah, tell me. So I tell them, Right. Whenever you're at O'Hare, if you order an Uber from the airport now without the rematches, you're only going to get a ride if someone's at the que queued up at the lot. Right. So what I tell people is when they say they want if they want to get a ride from O'Hare faster, instead of dropping their pin at O'Hare, drop your pin. I tell my pastors this to drop a pin from a hotel near the airport. Right. And they're like, why? I was like, well, if you drop your pin at, at the at a hotel, then you're going to get a ride from outside the waiting lot. You're going to get a ride from a driver that's either in a surrounding neighborhood or he's going to be on the highway. He or she's going to be in the highway. And then he's like, yeah, but then the driver's going to go to the hotel. I was like, yes, they will. Unless you call them and say, hey, I'm actually at the airport. Why don't you just, you know, please come here and pick me up. One, you're going to make that driver's night because you're going to give him a nice, juicy airport ride. Him and her, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying him. You're going to give that driver a nice, juicy airport ride without having to deal with the bullshit at the lot. And two, you're going to get a ride right away. It's a win-win. And the reason I like this bit of advice the most is because it's kind of like getting revenge on the city of Chicago for taking away rematches. God, that fucking annoys me. <laughs> we need those back. Um... And do pastors have been very thankful whenever I tell them that because if they travel a lot or if they're if they're used to traveling a lot and they you know they want to get back home quick, um, then they're going to be you know they're definitely going to appreciate not having to wait for a car for thirty minutes instead of waiting thirty minutes they're going to wait five to ten right so so uh, use uh, you know use that piece of advice however you want definitely. I definitely think if enough drivers in Chicago start doing that, telling their pastors about that, it would be a it, it, it would be a huge difference. Like we probably see, like you, we could be on the way, we could be on the way to the lot and get a ride from the airport, right? Because pastors are getting smarter and let all the bums at the lot, you know, fight it out. So uh, I think that's all I got for this one, guys. I'm probably gonna make a video tomorrow. I got my lift filter set for, uh, I'm not going to show it because it's going to show my address. I got my lift filter set for uh, for home. And, uh, yeah, today's been a semi-productive day. Yeah. Earnings-wise, didn't really do as well as I, I wanted to. I did okay yesterday, but as you guys know, I took off Friday night. So, no complaints. Uh, just going to have to kind of make it up next week and the following week. So, that's all I got, guys. Don't forget this advice. Help out the passengers. If they like your advice, they might they might leave you a tip. And this could help out everyone in a major market. So, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, uh, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.